Hi guys, bonjour mes amis, I'm Booger, welcome aboard. We're gonna do some spaghetti squash, taco casserole inside the spaghetti squash. My spaghetti squash is my new vegetable du jour, I love it. And uh, we're gonna use it as a vegetable inside our taco casserole, as well as a cooking vessel. You guys ready? Let's go, chin chin. Okay, so I've cut the um, spaghetti squash in half, not that way, but the long way. So we're gonna get the guts out, the seeds, and I'm gonna dry out those seeds and see if I can plant them in my garden when it's time. All right, so this is a melon scooper. You get that at Walmart, something like this. And I'm just gonna take the seeds out that way. Pretty cool, there we go. Just like that, that's all you gotta do. So let me do the, both of them and then we'll change the angle. I'm gonna use a flat pan by DeLonghi. Uh, you can use the other pan, just take the paddle out. Uh, I'm doing this because I'm going to use the pan with the paddle for the meat process. I just don't want to, you know, wait and cool it and all that stuff. So let's uh, start. I'm going to spray the inside of the squash with some olive oil and flip it upside down. So you got the squash um, part on the bottom burner. So I'm spraying this with my Evo sprayer. It's got olive oil in there. The other one's got uh, saying stir fry oil. So usually this takes about 25 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. So everything's on high. Let me think about this. Should I do number four? Let me do a three. I'm gonna do a three on this, okay? So I'll, I'll let you know the total took cooking time when I get back. Nice, right, 25 minutes. I'm gonna call it done. Let me get this out of the way for a second here. I'm gonna take this pan out. Get you back in focus. See that bottom burns awesome. So this paddle is gonna start turning probably right away. I'm, I'm, yeah, it's engaged already. I'm gonna spray a little bit of olive oil in there. And I'm gonna put a pound of ground beef in there. Don't touch that paddle while it's turning, okay? So I'm gonna cook this for just a little bit and then we'll uh, put some sauce in there. I'll show you what I do with that. So I'm going to have the bottom on, the top on at four. I'll let you know how long I do that. All right, so that was about six minutes or so. Let me turn this off for a second so I can hear myself talk. I've got um, three quarter cups of water here and I'm going to use my homemade taco seasoning. I'll put the recipe down below. It's three quarter cups of water to three tablespoons of this mix. I always make a good mason jar full of that and just have it ready when I need it. Right, mix that up. I'm telling you, make your own seasoning. It's just lovely. Okay, so let's get back to the air fryer. Looking good. You want you want your meat a little bit brown. Not it's not totally cooked. Just needs a couple more minutes. Put the sauce in there. And at this point, I'm going to turn the bottom on, of course. And uh, let's do a three. Let me think about this. Yeah, that's three. I want the sauce to get all in that meat, and, and then we'll uh, go to the next step. All right, so while that's cooking, these have cooled down a little bit. They're still hot, but I'm gonna flip them over. Still very hot. Take a fork, and we're gonna shred the skeddy away from the shell, all right? So I'm gonna do that all the way around, and then um, by that time, that meat will be done. I'll let you know how long that is. Here's where the fun begins. That was about five minutes, okay? So I'm gonna shut it off. Okay, so it's all shredded. I'm gonna put some of my salsa in there, your salsa of choice. Okay. That's up to you. My salsa has a lot of jalapenos, so that's gonna put a little bit of spice in there. We got that. I've got some refried beans here. I'm just gonna try to dabble some on there a little bit there. Just so we have some refried beans circulating in there. Okay. And some of this ground meat mixture.
And you guessed it, I'm gonna top it off with some uh, fresh uh, shredded cheddar cheese. Like that. I got enough left over. I've got another uh, sketty squash uh, to cook tomorrow. So I've got enough filling to do this again tomorrow. All right, so let me put this pan out. You can't see what I'm doing, but I took the other pan out. And I'm gonna put this one back in here. Top it with some cheese. Lots of cheese. Why not? Right? So, what do you guys think? Huh? <laughs> you know, low carb is, is something else. So, spaghetti squash, I'm using it as like a cooking vessel. My, you know, pretend corn chips. I don't know what to tell you. Tortillas. Okay. So, at this point, everything is cooked. I just wanna melt the cheese and everything blend in together. So I'm not gonna turn the bottom on, just the top one. And I'm gonna do a two, all right? I'll let you know how long to do that. All right, that didn't take but three minutes and I'm gonna call it done. I'm just gonna let it sit there cool and then I'm gonna take them out and we'll taste it. I will taste it, all right? Oh my God. <laughs> That's enough to uh, feed about six people. I'd say 70 people, I don't know. <laughs> Here's the part where you can put some sour cream or whatnot, cilantro, more salsa, whatever. I'm just showing you this is what I'm doing, okay? Um, I, put, I went and got some onions outside and sliced them up, put them on there. So here we go. Let's try this, eh? I'm gonna try to get some beans, some skeddy. Oh. Let me get some skeddy here. Ooh. Mm. There you go. You guys. That is stupid good. Mm. My salsa is spicy and it's so good in there. Um, You can add alpinos too, whatever. If I had some fresh ones, I would. But holy cow, is this good. This is delicious. Yep. I don't miss the corn chips. I don't know. I mean, it's friggin' good. I hope you try this. It's really good. Simple. I didn't, I mean, the two pans, is, it's cool. I could have used the one pan, but I just didn't want to wait. And I have it, so why not? Anyways, I like it a lot. I will be doing this again. I can't wait to plant some of the squash, some spaghetti squash, and do all kinds of recipes with it. I love, I love cooking with it. All right, guys. Well, thanks for shopping. Uh, bye bye.